Understanding how many similarities actually exist between the penis and the clitoris can be a great opportunity to find more pleasure in our bodies. When stimulated in a similar way, both the shaft of the penis and the shaft of the clitoris can erect. We are very familiar with the fact that a penis erect, but what we don't always know is if we masturbate, the shaft of the clitoris, which is the area that goes from the pubic bone to the glands, it can become as hard as a piece of wood. This is really important because that stimulation and that erection triggers the arousal system, brings a lot of blood flow and sends signals to the body that more pleasure is to come. Until the six weeks of gestation in the womb, we actually have a common structure, which looks more like the structure of the clitoris. And after that time, the male genital, the penis starts developing from that point with the glands of the penis started to grow, the shaft starting to develop and the scrotum obviously dropping away. Every single structure that may be either visible or invisible on a vulva body actually can be found in the penis body and vice versa. When it comes to the penis, we have the gland, the foreskin and the shaft very visible, but there is a base of the penis that's in the skin and that sits between the balls and the rectum. When it comes to the clitoris, we have the gland and the hood, which are usually quite visible, but then the shaft, the legs and the vestibular balls are sitting behind again the skin or under the labia and are not visible uh, when we look at the genitals. This is why we talk about homologues and the fact that the clitoris and the penis have a shared anatomy is just a symbol in a different way. Both the penis and the clitoris engorge uh, with arousal, which means that some of the erectile tissues uh, which are in the penis and the clitoris uh, engorge with blood uh, when we get excited. The blood rush to the area and start having a visible change to the way that the genital look. With the penis, because it's external, this is very obvious. We notice how the shafts grow, both in length and in girth. When it comes to the clitoris, we should be looking for those changes as well. And this is primarily through the vestibular bulge that sits behind the labia. Those inflate, similar to the penis, between 50% and 300% through arousal. So it's quite a significant change. Both the clitoris and the penis would usually feel a change of temperature. We're going to see a lot of heat come to the area, obviously because of the blood flow. We also notice a change of color. Sometimes it can go dark red or even purple. And because those changes are very rarely represented, we don't see those changes in porn because during the porn experience, the body isn't actually aroused. So we're not going through a natural cycle of what happens in our body. So these are signs which we need to look out for as a sign of excitation and pleasure. Typically with the clitoris, we often refer to suction and vibration on the gland or through the hood. And this is something that's also very pleasurable for the penis, thinking of obviously suction, but also vibration. When it comes to stimulating the penis, we usually uh, stroke from the base to the gland. And this is something that we need to think about when we stimulate the clitoris, not just focusing on the gland, but also masturbating the shaft, which can erect like a little penis, and then massaging the labia as a way to engorge the vestibular bulbs which are sitting behind it. We also can use the hood of the clitoris as a way to masturbate the glands the same way that the foreskin of an uncircumcised penis can be used as a way to stimulate the gland through the skin. Both the clitoris and the penis are connected to the pudendal nerve. The pudendal nerve is a sympathetic nerve, which means that it reacts to excitation. And so the typical orgasm that happens uh, on a clitoris or a penis would be what we call a peak orgasm. You would get excited, the structure will start engorging, there'll be a peak point where we reach climax, and then after that there is a refractory period. During this refractory period, the blood leaves the genital to go back into the body. So we notice very clearly with the penis that it becomes limp again. When it comes to the clitoris, we should be looking for a similar sign and we should start seeing a deflating uh, around the labia and also the clitoris uh, becomes soft again and the shaft of the clitoris becomes soft again.